today we're going to be talking about uh, Dark Knight's Metal. So right here I've got the Deluxe Edition. Um, so it's got this like fancy cover and everything to it. Uh, written by Scott Snyder, who at the time I believe is writing the Rebirth Batman series. Um, so this is another one of those stories where you can read the main book and you'll be pretty much okay. But if you're missing the spin-offs, you're missing a lot of context and a lot of, I think, side fighting that kind of like gets incorporated into the main book, uh, this one. Um, so overall, uh, <laughs> this story is nuts. It's just kind of weird and just kind of out there. Um, I imagine it was established somewhere in the Rebirth run of Batman, but uh, having not read anything from Rebirth apart from this and uh, I guess the button, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. I don't know where any of this comes from. But basically, Batman Bruce Wayne is uh, from the a lineage of people who defeated the Dark Multiverse in the past, and now the Dark Multiverse is trying to come back and like just come into the main universe and just kind of like just be like super evil and take over and just start murdering people. It's crazy. <laughs> So what they have to do is they have to find like a forge in order to feed to like just create this weapon in order to beat Barnabas, which is like the ultimate evil of evils from the Dark Multiverse. And it's just crazy. It's about the Justice League journey to getting there and Bruce Wayne's journey and like all this just pure insanity. Um, and <laughs> fittingly enough, all the villains are different versions of Bruce Wayne, basically as members of the other Justice League from alternate timelines. So right here, you get, um, I believe it's the Red Death is his name. It's like a, obviously like an evil version of Flash, except it's Bruce Wayne from another universe. You get this guy up here, I'm not sure what his name is, but he's the Green Lantern version. The, there's another version of him, uh, the Batman Who Laughs, which again, I didn't read the spin-off, so I don't have full context, but he's got like a leashed up like Damian Wayne Robin who like just like jokered out and like just nuts. Um, so there's a lot of craziness from this story. Like this story is just, it's just nuts. <laughs> and I think that's why a lot of people like it and why it's so popular. It's just because it's, so, it's just so crazy, right? <laughs> it's just so wild. All these crazy things happening, all these universes invading, and all these crazy fights going down. It's just nuts. I, don't, I really don't have another word for it. <laughs> um, so it's, really, it's a fun story, and I think if I read the other like, spin-offs and had full context, I think I'd enjoy it a lot more. But um, if you're just trying to read it as a spin, as like a, you know, just read the main story, it'll mostly make sense, but a lot of things are going to be really confusing because um, there are character interactions that are just kind of weird. Uh, the story just kind of throws you into like the, this arena on another planet and it's just like all these things are just happening. And um, I think that like, again, it all goes back to all those spinoffs and reading all the preparation up to it. Like if I had the road to the dark metal or something like that, I think it would make a lot more sense. Um, and I think this is the story that really kicked off the Dark Multiverse. So the Dark Multiverse is like a spin-off series of tragic or events that happened in the main DC universe, but like with a dark spin. So um, the ones I have, I have, I collected them all. Uh, there's one that's called uh, Dark Multiverse uh, Nightfall. Basically, instead of uh, Bruce Wayne being able to talk Asriel into stop being Batman, Asriel just kind of like imprisons him and runs Gotham his way and it's it's a really crazy story and I'll make, I want to make a video about those um, eventually but I think I want to cover the main like the story they're based on first so like I'll have a video covering Batman Nightfall and then Dark, Dark Multiverse uh, Nightfall I think that's how I want to do it just so you know there's full context around the scenario um, so in a lot of ways I really like Dark Knight's Metal not just for its own, like, the story of itself, but also because of what it brings to the table. All those things of, like, um, like I had mentioned about the Dark Multiverse, and um, from what I understand, the Dark Multiverse is something they're going forward with. Um, they're going to make a bigger overarching story, like, uh, affecting the whole DC Universe, about the dark, dark Multiverse invading, and, like, all these characters are introducing in these one-shots sh one are going to be introduced in, like, villains or something in the main DC Universe. Um, so I think it's really, really, really cool. I really love where they're going with this. I like a darker spin on stuff for like, uh, personally, I like the multiverse theorem. I like seeing altered versions of our characters, as long as they're not like designed stupid, <laughs> um, is the simple way I put it. But as long as they're not designed with the intention of carrying some kind of stupid social agenda or something like that, I love the multiverse theory. But when it's used incorrect, or in my opinion, incorrectly like that, I absolutely hate it. Um, example is like, um, uh, 
I really don't want to get into it right now, but um, yeah, I really like the Dark Knight's Metal. I think it's a really just wacky story, and I really like what it brings to the table, again, with like Dark Multiverse and where they can go forward from this. Um, so that being said, I think this is going to wrap this one up. Uh, I think once I get the, I have the other spinoffs on my Amazon wish list. I think once I actually pick those up, I'll do another video about the spinoffs and maybe touch back on the main story for this one a bit. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it and um, give it a read if you can, uh, if you get the opportunity or whatever. Um, so if I, if you get it to the end of the video, thank you so much. And uh, if you give this story a read, uh, let me know and let me know what you thought of it. Um, so I think that's going to wrap it up and uh, we'll see you guys next time.